this should be the non-negotiable criteria for the cookout invite. All this criteria y'all got for inviting white people to the cookout, I don't give a fuck about whether or not they can dance. I need to see how they pulling up, like Rihanna said, how they pulling up to stand in solidarity with us. This man, Senator Whitehouse, that's how you get invited to the cookout. <laughs> that's how you get invited to the cookout. Listen to what he's saying. Justice Thomas sat on cases involving efforts to overturn the 2020 election, despite his wife's involvement in efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Worst of all, the court has refused to take any real steps to clean up this mess. Listen to these After words. substantial public pressure, it first wrote a useless letter. Useless. About ethics. And then it adopted a toothless ethics Toothless code. ethics code. Toothless. For either investigation or determination or enforcement. The Supreme Court now stands alone in all of government free from any fact-finding about ethical misconduct. As a result, the court's legitimacy in the eyes of the American people is now at an all-time low and falling. Senator from falling. Earth. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to move ahead just a little bit. The right-wing Fed Sock justices also. Hopefully I'll get to the right part. And did. Clear Keep listening, y'all. Requiring Supreme Court justices to disclose even small gifts. These justices kept hidden. Years of free private jet travel, free yacht trips, free tickets to sporting events. Even for one justice, two hundred and sixty thousand dollars of loan forgiveness for a luxury motor coach. Justices have flouted the federal law requiring recusal from cases where they have a conflict of interest. Does it sound familiar? Yes. Earlier this week. Because I've been saying it. Happened. On Monday, President Biden and Vice President Harris endorsed two common sense proposals to help restore the court's legitimacy. And happily, I have bills that perfectly align with both. First, he said, I'm ready. <laughs> I've been waiting on you. The enforceable code of conduct. The Supreme Court should not violate one of the most basic principles of the law. Here it is. Name Pay attention. In sua causa. No one should be a judge in their own cause. Yes, that is a principle so old and so venerated that it is in Latin. And they violate it nonstop. And they violate it non-stop i don't know he, he this is how for me my criteria and you coming because y'all cook out i'm some of y'all and i love my beautiful black people but i'm not coming to your fucking cookout because like if you get invited to my cookout that's when you know it's black black blackity black black blackity black and it's gonna stay blackity equity black blackity black 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 and all about equity and justice for all those who are in disenfranchised communities. And this is how you can get invited to my cookout. You can't even get invited to my cookout being fake as hell. This, this right here, this is the criteria that should be for our cookout invite. 